Now let's set the record straight. There's no argument over the choice between peace and war. But there's only one guaranteed way you can have peace. You can have your next country. Surrender. Admittedly, there's a risk in any course we follow other than this. But every lesson that history tells us, eventually we have to face the final demand, the ultimate. And what they and therein lies the road to war. You and I know this, and do not believe the fight is so dear and it is so sweet. I'm going to take my chances. Go on and go on. Just be a good show, but I ain't got to share with you all tonight. I ain't really worried about that now. I guess. I don't know, they have like, they have several, I'm not sure which one it is. Well, live stream. Well, shit. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your first fight of the night in the bantamweight division. Three three-minute rounds. I think I just cussed Introducing on live stream. Introducing first the fight around my I right. I think you did. Fighting out of the Appalachian yeah. Auto Works, Blue Corner. He is an independent fighter from Indianapolis, North Carolina, making Gotta his stay MMA debut tonight. Give it up for Ashton Coots. Gotta post this and on his the, uh, opponent standing to my left, fighting out of the National Facebook Guard Red Corner. He is an independent fighter from Wilkesboro, North Carolina, coming in with a record of zero wins and one loss. C. J. Vanover. <laughs> Your referee when the action begins. Wait for no. All right, guys, welcome to USFFC 11 Redemption. Starting off the night, we've got Ashton Koontz and C. J. Vanover. Only one fight between these two guys. But, uh, you know, I'm expecting to get this night started off with a bang. I hope. I'm hoping. I'm praying. Yeah, I'm hoping too. And right away, CJ's pushing forward. A little wild, a little wild. He's got the single collar tie here trying to land shots. And he lands right into Mount here. Big punches. Big punches coming down. Coons has got to get out of there. He has got to buck off. He's freezing up here. He's freezing up here. The ref has got to be looking to stop this. Yeah, it looks like it's about to be stopped on this one. I can hear him. He's yelling to him to, to defend and himself. He's turning over. Oh, and he's got that under the chin right now. He's got a locked in deep. You know, he's got. To, he, all, he's going to look to stretch him out and get the tap here. He doesn't look like he's applying a whole lot of pressure right now at this angle, and we have a great angle. Oh, yes. We always have a great angle here. <laughs> Oh, he's letting yeah, him fly him out. That is it. CJ Vanover picks up his first win here tonight, improving to one and one with a big uh, first round tap out here. Do that. Rare well, naked choke. I wonder if he won because he's got the old John Bones Jones form athletics.
fight well, shorts on. Well, you know, the last time you came out, I saw him. He was wearing the, uh, the some tie trunks. It just didn't uh, go his way, though. Oh, no. you got to go with the Bones Jones form athletics. I was expecting some more spinning techniques and for him to be tall, lanky. Maybe 205? Maybe, yeah, and uh, yeah. maybe Greg Jackson yelling random things in his corner. I eh, don't pick on Greg Jackson. I like old, old Greg. I don't know. He says some pretty awkward things. I remember uh, Donald Cerrone's fight. Uh, it's go get you some Donald Cerrone. <laughs> that is a direct quote. You can YouTube it. Ladies and uh, gentlemen, after 50 seconds stuff. in the first round, your winner by tap out due to rear naked choke, CJ Vanover. You know they're going to do that. Oh, yeah.